This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning at Business and Life podcast, where business leaders share their insights. It is six questions in seven minutes because successful business leaders are busy and rarely have more time to spare. So let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, please tell me who you are and what you do. Oh, my name is Curtis Tompkins. I am the owner and founder of Job Ready Today. It's a career services firm where we prepare clients for their next career opportunity. Curtis, it's so great to have you on the show. Question number two, what's the best thing about working in your industry? Uh, being able to change lives. Mm. It's nothing like it. Uh, client comes, come with an issue, uh, give them a strategy to go ahead and uh, take care of that issue. And when we see the results, that just makes it all worthwhile. Oh, I love that. And I can, I can hear that passion in your voice. It's so great. <laughs> Question number three, I have a fictitious book with all the answers for business. What chapter would you think most companies should read? Taking care of the employees. Mm -hmm. I think that that's number one, because if you take care of your employees, you will have a thriving organization. If you decide that you don't want to take care of your employees, the building is going to come crumbling down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's so, so insightful because... You know, it, the people want to feel appreciated, and you know your your insight there. It, I, I, obviously, with what you do, you know that people can go and find a better job if if, if they're not happy. Am I right? That's right. Quickly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Question number four: Other than the generic "work harder, have a great attitude, and care for customers," what advice or insight would you give to other business leaders? Well, I would give this advice when you're trying to bring talent on board. You want to think about those who don't have the opportunity to come into your organization. You don't want to just send them away high and dry because that's something that I'm seeing that is a big problem. And you leave uh, these candidates with a bad taste in their mouth, not knowing that one day that these could be your customers. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you at least give them something to hold on to. This is what you may have been able to do better, or maybe that, of course, being careful of the legalities, but giving them something to hold on to that they can keep them going forward. And then one day, if it happens to be your customer, they'll remember the compassion, they'll remember the time you took with them, and things will kind of come out in your favor. Mm -hmm. So if I'm understanding you correctly, this, you know, dealing with people who you don't hire, the way you treat them, that's really a branding exercise for the company. Am I right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if they don't, I mean, it's it's that negative, that negative experience is going to come back to haunt them. I would imagine. I know, I know, I would if I was treated poorly in an interview process. That's right. Question number five: What other business leader like yourself would you like to acknowledge and invite to be on my podcast? Um, I'm going to think about that one. I'm going to get back to you. Sounds good. And our final question: Question number six: Please tell me about your first job. Ah. Uh, so there was an internet cafe that I used to work at some years ago, and I learned so much when it comes down to customer service, when it comes down to technology. I got an opportunity to be in management. Um, the customers, uh, they became like family. It was just so awesome. And some takeaways, well, one takeaway that I took away from that position is treating people the way that you want to be treated. Because years down the line, I'm talking about 10 years later, I, you still see some of the people and they remember, you remember how you treated them. And it's that same rapport that you have. But if you treat people nasty, time come down the line, when they see you, they'll remember that too. So you just have to be careful. Mm -hmm. That is so insightful. It's, it, you know, it, it's, it reminds me of um, that old saying, what goes around comes around. And, oh, it, yes. and it's, it's exactly what, what I thought of when you were telling about that. So I, I love that. And it's a great story for your, for your first job. Thank you. And Curtis, thank you so much for being on the show. How can people find you? Oh, you can find me on LinkedIn, uh, Curtis Tompkins at the end of CFRW. You can find me on Twitter at Job Ready Today, Facebook, Curtis Tompkins, uh, SPN, Alignable couple of things. You search out Curtis Tompkins on uh, Google and there you can find me. Perfect. And I believe you have a new book out there that uh, that, that people can uh, can buy? 
Yes, it's called uh, Resume Writing Simplified, Removing the Guesswork to Achieve Optimal Results, just to help you to go through the system the right way, uh, make sure you're formatting your resume the right way so you can achieve the results you are looking for when applying for jobs online. Perfect. This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning at Business and Life podcast. For more insights and ideas, please go to LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, or iTunes and search for the Winning at Business and Life podcast. Thanks for listening.